Coca the Chai was kind of a tribute to the city where my parents came from. It was a tribute to the food there, it's a tribute to the culture there, and finding a way to represent it properly. Everyone knows what chai is, but no one really knows what chai is. Chai means tea, uh, literally. But when you're ordering something on the street of India, you're gonna get a cup of spiced milk tea or masala chai, spiced chai. And that's what we, we really want to re-educate people on because chai is not this super sweet, cinnamony drink that you get at a you know, global chain. It's something that you have to make from scratch. So we came into the game with really no experience and we just, from the skin of our teeth, just made everything happen when it came to press and product. It's amazing because you know in the East Village, Lower East Side, you can throw a stone and you'll find someone doing crazy culinary, inventive, hardworking, harder working than you. So it's just like this pace and this energy, even during COVID, it's just always trying to keep up, you know, and, and stay on pace and really make the city proud, but also make your, like your own people proud. And also just this fun competition that exists, I feel like in the food space where everyone's looking at what other people are doing. And it's like, what can you bring to the table? And what can, like, what can you add to your legacy?